there are over 39 types of crickets in this country but we have only managed to domesticate two. One is the field cricket, which is Grylas by Maculatus. It's the black one, which you find in the, in the farms. It's black and it's big. And then we have a Cheta domesticus, and this is the house cricket. It's the one that makes noise in the house at night. So those two, we have managed to farm them. So we understand them fully. So any questions or any challenges that may show up, we'll be able to, we are able to answer. So any farmer, uh, wanting to start off, they can come and pick either of those two. Of course, the field cricket grows faster, it's bigger, it's be better in terms of weight, but its taste is not as good as the, the house cricket. The house cricket takes longer to grow but tastes better. It's, it's very cheap to start a cricket farm from a farmer point of view because Depending on the scale you are interested in, you can start with very little, as, as low as 3,000 shillings, you can start cricket farming. Yeah? That is on a small scale. That is in a small box in your house or in your backyard. And from a small box, you can be able to harvest 20 kilos every one or two months. Yeah? A box of about two by three feet, you can be able to harvest about 20 kilos every every one to two months so it's very possible yeah and it's not labor intensive and uh, even the cost of food is very little a cricket eats 0 0.01 grams of food is almost nothing it drinks almost zero water so in the morning you just throw some food there and go to your work so it's not something that you say it is going to occupy my whole day or my life no crickets eat a lot of green material uh, Sukumawiki, the ones we cannot cook, the waste sukumawikis and cabbage and fruits, nyanyas and tomatoes and popos, name it, right? However, we also supplement that with some chicken feed sometimes to give them more energy. The two types of crickets I mentioned have different growth periods. The house, the, the house cricket takes about three months to mature. The field cricket takes about uh, one month to mature. Yeah. So that's why I said the, the field cricket grows faster and it's bigger. About, a cricket is about one to two grams. A mature cricket is about one gram to two grams. So to make a kilo you need about a thousand crickets to two thousand crickets. If you dry that, you get about 40% of the weight. So from one kilo of fresh cricket, you make about half a kilo, 400 to 500 grams. That's like half a kilo of dried cricket. Yeah. And we are saying within a month, if you are doing house uh, field cricket, you can achieve that. If you are doing uh, the, the, the house cricket, it will take two to three months to, to achieve that. Crickets, they have predators, yeah? When they make noise, they attract rats, they attract uh, lizards, they attract snakes, they attract spiders. Anything that eats on insects will come. So the farm, the rearing farm or box that you start off must protect your cricket from predators as much as possible. In food processing, we say a food product is only limited by your imagination. You can do virtually anything you want with crickets. Just like there, you can do anything with wheat. You can make chapatis, what? It's the same thing with cricket. Cricket, once you, you harvest it, you can choose to eat it fresh. Just fry it and eat as a stew. You can also choose to to, to dry it and mill it into a powder. And this powder, now you can put in ugali, you can put in chapati, you can put in, uh, uh, what are they called, yogurt, and milkshakes, biscuits, energy bars. A product made of cricket is only limited by your imagination. If you think about it, you can make it. So we don't have, uh, um, a rule that says cricket can only make one, two, three things. No, no, no. It's very open. 
You imagine what you can do with anything else and just experiment, you'll be surprised. In, for example, the proteins are very high. You're talking of 60% protein. Omena has 30%. Fish has about 30%. Beef has about 25% protein. Yeah? Chicken, about 30% protein. So you are seeing that a cricket has twice as much most of the foods we call protein sources. Yeah. So it's, it's very rich in protein. And what is interesting about this protein is that it's not only high in protein, but this protein is also very digestible. And the amino acid composition is superior to a lot of these other proteins. Yeah, so it's it's something is is a protein that one would always go for. Given an option between beef and cricket, I would go for cricket any day. The oil from cricket is also very good. Yeah, they have about 18% oil, and this oil has some of the best omega-3 fats we have in nature, right? Omega-3 fats are not very common. You you find them in some fish and some seeds like chia seed but cricket has come in you don't find a lot of omega-3 fats in fish in, i mean in uh, chicken in beef but there are some unique omega-3 fats you know we are we are seeing or we are starting to see in insects which means it's, it's good oil as well we, we work with, with with stakeholders we work with food pro companies we work with uh, animal feed manufacturers and, and exporters who are interested. So there are always people asking how much can I get? How much can I get? And we always throw them into the, into the farmers and we, we, we link them up. Like I mentioned, we have a group of farmers who are farming. So if there's anyone who is interested in buying, we actually connect them. As, as late as yesterday evening, someone called and said they want to start exporting crickets. And uh, so they wanted to get connected to the farmers and to see if they can do any contracts for farmers to start producing for their export market. Because they want to pick samples as immediately and send them to Europe to see if the samples would pass the rigorous uh, safety requirements. And if they pass, then we'll be able to export crickets from Kenya to Europe. Yeah? So we always do that. We connect them, anybody farming, anybody interested in buying, that's our job as a university. We are funded by government and our job is to find solutions to people. So we connect people to the markets. But we also encourage pe farmers to also look for market, extra market. Like I mentioned, there are agrovets, there are small processors of food and feed, people making porridge flour. You sell your crickets to them. Also produce cricket for your own farm, for your fish, for your chicken, and you save costs on the animal feed.